Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is uh, morning on the uh, fourth day of autumn, and uh, we're going to be taking a short break this uh, this morning and uh, part of today from harvesting wheat to uh, take some of our uh, potatoes over to the uh, to the root crop uh, distributor. And uh, the shop was kind enough to uh, to get for us a, a man truck here and a uh, semi-trailer we have um, basically borrowed we had to put a deposit down on both of the truck and the uh, semi-trailer here but uh, we are going to be able to uh, get our deposit back as long as we uh, can return the truck in a timely manner so we're going to uh, See Daisy. I'll spin this around actually. Long trailer here. We're gonna spin this around and uh, go this way. Down to our pigs. And uh, we're going to basically try to sell about two hundred and fifty to two hundred and seventy five thousand liters of potatoes today. Um, I already know that we're only going to need about about 20,000 or a little less than that of potatoes to feed the number of pigs that we're going to buy uh, for the next year or so. Uh, so we, with 300,000 liters of potatoes, we've got more than enough uh, potatoes to, to last us. And afford to get rid of these, and it's a really great price, really great time. I've been keeping track of uh, commodity prices since since I came over here from the states, and this is one of the highest uh, prices that we've seen in in the entire year for potatoes. So we want to go ahead and take advantage of that. Want to be holding our potatoes back and then not getting a good price. Going to go ahead and plan on. Um, selling as many potatoes as we can today the uh, potato distributor promised me a tour uh, with the first load of potatoes that we dropped drop, dropped off um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take advantage of that Seem to be caught up on the bush. Go. There you can see our uh, first load of straw bales that we dropped brought back um, yesterday or last night. The other load of straw is actually over at the other farm. Uh, in a shed. It does go and start to rain on us. Um, those straw bales will be protected. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, fill this thing up. So this should take about um, 45,000 liters of potatoes, I believe. Going and going. Almost forty six thousand liters of potatoes. Pretty good haul. Say so myself. Let's see if we can't get out of here. Got a pretty long trailer.
There we go, we got hung up on something. I'm sure by the time we make a couple trips we will have uh, figured this out. We've also put a kind of a, a cease, a halt to our harvesting of um, a barley because we don't want to need to be uh, putting more straw on the ground uh, than we have to leave on the ground. Whatever we don't get uh, harvested today as a result of the impeding rain, we will uh, just pick up tomorrow and uh, finish up the barley field tomorrow and then just go ahead and get started on our canola field so. docks are right around big old bend here coming up to our uh, our tavern. And we can see the cranes over there in the distance for our dock. Let's keep uh, winding this road around here. And let's see, leave the entrance for the root crops are um, past the granary. Let's see, turn in here. Come back behind here. Yep, sugar beets. Potatoes, there we are. Like I said, they promised us a tour of the facility. As we are unloading our potatoes here, we'll uh, entertain a tour. Check the place out. Right. Coming along quite nice. Go ahead and uh, back in here. Uh, conveyor belt set up. Uh, looks like we're grading or sizing the potatoes here. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. We're grading uh, potatoes. I guess the big potatoes in one bin and the little potatoes in another bin. Pretty cool. Pretty neat indeed. Uh, I think they told me that the uh, load's done unloading. So we're going to run back here and uh, basically make ourselves a few more trips. Uh, stopped unloading, so... I'm going to uh, stop our uh, narration now at this point and uh, turn you over to some handy dandy driving music uh, as we uh, make some more trips here. Hope you all enjoy the tunes.
looks like the rain is starting to come in. Starting to uh, roll in here. This is gonna be the last load of uh, potatoes. We need to uh, we need to get this truck back to the shop. Uh, we kind of had promised to have it back to them by uh, midday. It's uh, 1 30 now, so um, a little past our promise, but I think it'll be okay. And we're going to need to. Um, seems like our pay or our cows are going to need some uh, carrying too. We're going to need to run over and uh, pick up our telehandler, which is over at the arable farm. Bring it back to the cow farm. Mix up a load of our food, and we're going to need to uh, collect some grass and. Uh, Get up some water. Let's just uh, drop this uh, truck off here. Back. All right. So they were very gracious to uh, have their truck back. They gave us uh, our full deposit back. Now we can run over and uh, pick up that telehandler. Glad these uh, these wipers wipe the uh, windshield nice and clean. We don't worry about uh, smears or anything. So in here. In here in the back. Right there is our telehandler and our uh, our load of straw. We're going to go ahead and uh, get in the telehandler and uh, get and mix us up some power food. Oh, we need to uh, not bring our whole trailer load of straw out here into the rain, that's for sure. So. Good catch. Glad that we uh, noticed that we were accelerating awful slow. Let's uh, head on over to the uh, cow farm. See if we can't get our uh, power food mixed up and get some grass there for our cows. So one of the reason the reason we were in such a rush to get back to the shop is that uh, we were approaching the half hour mark of real time in owning that truck and trailer, and I wanted to uh, get my full deposit back. Quote: I purchased the truck and I wanted to sell it back at full price uh, so that we didn't lose any money. Uh, so remember, we got 160, 150. Um, got 158 back, so we lost maybe a little bit there. And on the trailer, uh, we got 58,000 back, so we got the full amount there. So I guess maybe we let's check here, let's check our finances. So we bought $223,000 worth of vehicles, and we sold $223,000 worth of vehicles. Um, so we net nothing there. And we sold thirty-nine thousand dollars worth of uh, potatoes, so that was uh, that was worth a little bit of income there. Like I said, I didn't really want to uh, to get too involved with the uh, um, 
with the harvest, knowing that it was going to rain at any moment. So we actually did have a great demand uh, for potatoes. So that was a great opportunity to sell some potatoes, which we had an excess of, and uh, take advantage of a great demand, uh, while at the same time not uh, not getting too involved with uh, any additional harvest. I'm going to bring our TMR mixer over here. And put uh, oops, put 10,000 liters of silage in our mixer. Figured out a pretty good ratio here. So we've pretty uh, figured out a 10,000 liters of silage, um, 8,000 liters of hay, and 4,000 liters of straw will give us 22,000 liters of TMR, our power food, and uh, everything will be in the green. Uh, we figured out why we uh, couldn't stop the uh, silage flow the other day, or the other time that we were uh, doing this on camera, and that is because it was set to automatic. Uh, so if you run underneath the spout out of the tractor, there we go. So if you run under the spout um, without a tractor, and you have the F1 menu, you'll see where you have an option to uh, you know, do manual or auto manual fill or automatic fill. And it was set to automatic fill. So we switched it over to manual fill, and now we were able to uh, basically tell it that we when we want to stop. We are going to get two bales of hay with our forks. Probably don't want too high. Well, this is the hay that got rained on. We're not quite 4,000 liters for each bale. Just lost a little more capacity out of our hay. Okay. And here's our straw. It's all the straw that we got off of the wheat field. It's more straw than we are going to need. Let's see if we can't get this in here before we lose capacity. See all of our power foods now in the green. All the mixing ratios. Park this here. Oops, we're having a hard time here running into things. Let's park this here. All for a beacon. Alright. Let's unload this. Take a look at our cow area. See, it's filling both columns evenly, and it should take most of this, but not all of it. If I am correct. There you go. See that uh, filled it up there. So, uh, park this under the shed here. Then we will pick up our forage wagon. I want to show you something because I was I saw this the other day when I was over here, and um, just want to mention it to you so that you all can see this. 
saw my video review of this map. You may have seen me uh, talk about this. I kind of forget if I talked about this or not. But uh, look over here in this shed, or in this uh, cow barn area, at all of the extra details that we've got in here. We've got uh, pallets of oil, pallets of spare John Deere parts. Pretty handy that we've kind of be a John Deere farm here. Got an old John Deere two-wheel drive tractor. Uh, we got a John Deere small baler sitting here. Got in here a couple bales of uh, straw and a skid steer. So, you know, this is all just uh, side decoration in here. I was just seeing this the other day when I was in here. I uh, thought it was really nice. Go ahead and uh, get our mower. Get ourselves some grass picked up. We are nearly completely out of grass. So we're going to need about... Um, let's look up and see how much we're going to... Gonna need fuel, that's for sure. In our uh, in our tractor, so we are gonna need um, 5,600 liters of grass. So let's check our escape screen. We have 343 liters. I need 5,600 liters. So let's try to collect 5,300 liters of grass and uh, see how close we can get to uh, emptying the trailer. Be kind of a little game. See how close I can uh, predict. All right. And swing around here. Turn on it lights. Remember, we want fifty three hundred liters of grass. See where we've basically been um, mowing here in the cow pasture. Obviously, they don't. Uh, don't seem to actually eat the grass, they just seem to uh, smell it. So we might as well go ahead and use the grass ourselves, right? There we are, we're at 5300. 5341 exactly, so let's uh tip this in. Cows, we don't need to be getting in our way here. This right, we should have less than 100 liters of, uh, of grass in our trailer. there we pretty much have filled it up said we need, should have 56 18 to be exact and we have 56 58 by the way it looks like we pretty much have filled it up almost uh, almost to the exact liter that way that was a pretty good pretty good estimation again I used the uh, spreadsheet that you can find over at PCSG in the mod section uh, it's basically it's the seasons animal feed calculator spreadsheet it will uh, tell you with a fair bit of accuracy how much uh, food you need to supply each particular animal type uh, for each particular season uh, based on season length 
Looks like we need to uh, top them off with straw. And then we need to run our telehandler back over to the other farm. And get them, uh, get the, the water truck. Top them off with water and then we will close ourselves out for the day. Uh, pull the bale from here instead. All right. Go. Build that back up. Beacon on and our headlights back over to the other farm. And while we're driving over there, I might as well uh, start our closeout uh, routine. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you aren't a subscriber and uh, you like this video and like this type of content, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, you will get uh, notifications on uh, future postings of content. We do Let's Play series on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Right now we're obviously doing a 24 Day Seasons play on Churn Farm. Uh, we also have content that we put up on hopefully most Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm not going to guarantee every Tuesday and Thursday, but uh, most Tuesdays and Thursdays we'll be doing map videos. Um, so go ahead and check those out. And then on Sunday morning... Uh, we will be posting an iRacing race for the week. Um, basically, whatever track we are at that week, uh, whatever track I'm at that week, I should say, I typically run um, up to four races at that particular track uh, per week. And uh, we will be premiering, or uh, it's not premiering, but... Uh, um, Debut? No, not really debut. Just, uh, maybe premiering is a is the right word. Basically, premiering the uh, the best uh, performance for that given week, or maybe the most interesting race for that week. It may not be actually the best performance, but it may be the most interesting race. Uh, you know, might uh, might have been a race where we. Uh, Led from pole all the way around the track for the entire race, and that might not necessarily be that interesting. But we might have a race where we finished in the top uh, three, and uh, we kind of had a real interesting race with some battles and, and some t hard racing. Uh, so I may choose to put that one up instead, simply because uh, seeing somebody run around a track in first place all the time isn't that interesting. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, top this off. And I see it's stopped uh, raining now. So we'll probably, off camera, spend the rest of the day bailing up straw. And let's take a look at our forecast. We've got clear weather until day six. So we will probably spend the rest of the day um, bailing up any straw that's left actually on the ground. Uh, if you remember, we did have some windrow straw that was on the ground. So I know that some of that straw is going to be uh, gone now as a result of the rain. Some of the straw may still be around. So whatever straw is still on the ground, we'll go ahead and bale up. And then we'll just kind of hang out and uh, take that other wagon load of straw over to the pig farm off camera. And pretty much just wait for the wet crop to go away. And then we will uh, get back to harvesting our barley off camera. Next time I get back with you all, we will be over on our canola field harvesting that. So until next time, guys. Happy farming.